Scuba diving is something that allows you to experience another world without leaving hours. Being underwater is not really something you can describe to someone. It's really something you gotta experience yourself and it opens up a whole new world. Uh, awesome way to explore the natural world and see some beautiful things that you just can't see online. I didn't know anyone when I first came to FSU. Um, so I was really looking to get really involved really quickly because I needed that um, to make friends and meet new people. I was really interested in becoming a marine biologist. So I um, got certified with my younger brother and planned on joining the club as soon as I got to school. Um, I went to the involvement fair uh, the middle of my freshman year during the spring involvement fair and I was walking around and I saw the club and I was like, oh, that's really cool. It's something I've always been interested in. And I just signed up and started going to the meetings. Uh, you know, I joined last year, just kind of wanted to get involved in something that I was already interested in, and it's been one of the best decisions I've made. I've made a lot of new friends, uh, done a lot of cool things, done some cool dives, uh, and also being a safety officer has given me a lot of experience. Uh, not just, not just kind of, uh, you know, work, uh, planning experience, but also just as a person. It's helped me grow and develop a lot, and so it's definitely one of the best decisions I've made here at FSU. You know, we do, we are uh, technically a sport club here at FSU, and so it is, it is a team, and we're a little limited due to the certification, but we're definitely a pretty close-knit group. You know, everyone gets along. Uh, you know, we all, we all understand the seriousness of what we're doing, and it's definitely a, a common interest that we all have, and so it does kind of unite us in that regard. We're all really close. Um, it wasn't hard making friends in the club. Everyone's really friendly and welcoming, like, right away. Um, you feel like you can just like really connect with these people because you all share the common interest in something that not a lot of people get to do. Um, since diving does have like the monetary issues, um, it's pretty like selective in who gets to do it and we all like really appreciate the fact that we have like the opportunity to dive. This year earlier we went to a place called Morrison Springs. We did an underwater pump and carving dive. Then later we went to a place called Rainbow River, we did a drift dive. Uh, we've also been to Jenny Springs, we did the Galaxy Dive, and the biggest one we did was over spring break when we went to the Bahamas and dove with sharks. So we're really open about um, deciding where to dive because there's so many springs around Florida. Um, and we usually go to the same few every year just because we know them and we know how each one works. Um, and the officers have been there before but it's usually just kind of up to suggestions. We're really open, we always love finding new places to dive. The club does some more unique and quirky dives throughout this year. Um, in October, we do an underwater pumpkin carving dive, and how we do that is we take pumpkins, we gut them out outside of the water, and then we fill it with weights that we use to go down, so it's like lead. And then we go down and we have our design sort of drawn out or planned in our head. And then we just go down, sit. It's at Morrison Springs, so there is a like a training platform that people use to train to get certified. But we use it as sort of like a giant carving table. And then we just kind of sit there and we use our dive knives and we just carve out the pumpkin face on however that however we want it to look out. And some people are more artistic than others. Mine was really derpy. Other people's was really amazing. And then the other dive we do is underwater basket weaving, and that is sort of a thing that we do because. It's sort of the thing that everyone hears, like, oh, underwater basket weaving as a college course, blah, 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 blah. And so we did it this year finally as sort of a joke and a thing because that we can. And that turned out really well. One of our fa my favorite dives would have to be the Jenny Springs Galaxy Dive. It's when we go in a cavern at night with um, fluorescent biodegradable like fluid from clothes sticks. We put different colors in bags. We go down and we turn off our lights and we let it off at our spring head. And what that does is it shoots off the liquid into different particles of light. And so when you turn off all your lights, you're in pitch blackness except for these particles. And it makes you feel like you're in a galaxy and it's super trippy because you're just sitting there and it's just different particles just going around. And it's a really unique experience. Uh, so that's one of our more popular dives. Another one was the one we did over spring break when we went to the Bahamas and we dove with sharks and no cage. I believe that's only legal in certain parts of the world. And yeah, it was a pretty amazing experience. Um, what I would say to people who are sort of on the edge about not only getting a certification but joining the club is yes, the monetary thing is expensive. It's around three to four hundred dollars. But if you think about it, people get like new iPhones and stuff like that almost every year. And so for like roughly half the price, you can get something that lasts a lifetime 
and gives you a whole new experience. You gotta convince people that it is worth it to spend the four hundred dollars. It's an investment that will last for the rest of your life, and it's an amazing experience. It's something that changes every time you do it. Um, you never see the same thing twice. You're always um, seeing new things underwater. Um, I've been in all different types of like places. I've been in the mountains. I've been to the beaches, and nothing beats underwater because it's like nothing you can see anywhere else. It's a really enjoyable experience every time. It's never something that you could ever get bored of. So as a kid, I used to watch like Stargate SG-1 and all that like sci-fi stuff. And it, what it is is pretty much uh, like they walk through this portal and they get transported to a different dimension. Um, and so if you imagine a diver jumping in the water, but if you put it sideways, it sort of looks like they're sort of going through a portal. And that's how I was imagine it. And then diving just opens the world to you in terms of exploration because 70% of the world is covered by water and only 5% of it has been discovered and so if you really want to see a new perspective on the world that you really can't get on land then you have to go in water because it's always changing and it's a experience that it's really hard to explain. Um, joining the club it's more of something you to do to get out of college because the college experience is not just to go to class and rinse and repeat it's those to find yourself and so being a part of the club, it really allows you to interconnect with people who you normally wouldn't be able to meet with. Like I have people, met people who are like in sororities, fraternities, like biochem majors and literature majors and all these different walks of life who I normally would have been able to meet if I wasn't in this club.